Hey there YouTubers, got a little fix it tip on the PlayStation 2 eject problems. This doesn't cover the alignment process because that was pretty straightforward. What I was having a problem with was getting the thing to eject once I pulled the DVD disc out of the unit. It would always eject as long as I had a DVD in there, but if somebody happened to pull it out and allow it to close it would never work. Well, the funny thing is I noticed this piece right here whenever I put it back in place that's when it wouldn't eject and what was happening was this little plastic hub right here would come down and lock onto the magnet beneath it and the uh, motor didn't have enough strength to pull it free it would drive me nuts trying to figure out why that would happen and finally I realized there's just the slightest amount of wear on this little plastic hub maybe it's a thousandth of an inch wear or something like that and so what I did was I carefully popped out this little piece of metal here I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to point at it. It's got these three clips holding this little piece of metal in the, in the hole here. Popped it out, put electric tape on the back side of it, and popped it back in. That changed the clearance, maybe a thousandth of an inch or something like that, enough to where it sat a little higher off the magnet. Now I know in some cases uh, a bad belt can cause the same problem, but my belt seemed to be uh, sufficient in this case, so. Surprising enough, I put this baby back in and the thing actually worked. Can you imagine that? Thousands of an inch difference causing this whole thing to go screwy. Just to make sure I explain that clearly enough, I took a dime here just to represent what I did. Put electric tape on the back of it, turn it around, pop it back in the hole. Not the dime, of course, this is just representing. Uh, anyway, hope that helps.